still in the closet about my homosexuality. I was still trying to come to grips with being gay. Being raised in the church, that was a big, big no-no. The good books say a marriage is between a man and a woman. What's wrong with you? Do you need to see somebody? Do you need help? That was the one thing that severed any relationship that we ever could have. I was promiscuous and I stopped counting after 100. Hey, I have my experience, if that's what you want to call it. I was actually a college student at 19 dealing with HIV. If I'm gonna die anyway, why am I fighting? I just wasn't happy anymore with life or myself. I think I was kind of forced into believing that this was just a part of life. I guess I knew when I woke up in the hospital on a gurney being wheeled into the emergency room after taking a handful of muscle relaxers, that was a clear sign that something was up. The problem is in your head at the moment, so you gotta talk to other people, you've gotta share what's going on inside. You just kinda gotta get over your homophobia. You need to pray and ask for forgiveness. It's not as simple as that. Because often their voices have not been heard. Your voice is part of your body. It needs to be connected to who you are. It's who we be. I don't do black, I be black. I don't do male, I be male. I don't do gay, I be gay. This is you and this is how God made you. This is, I believe, how God has made me. Talk about that pain being in an anti-gay and black world. We are not meant to be inauthentic for very long. So I don't have to be perfect being me. I just have to be me. Well, what are you gonna do on the last day of judgment? I said, I'm gonna to say to Allah, Allah, get you a big popcorn, a giant soda, and let the video roll.